Uh, Alanis uh, Midrow. Uh, Like yeah, but it's not worth that. It's no. just like, it's, it's it basically a hammer roll. Oh, I was going to say, it looks like hammer strength. No, no, the hammer starts way more Lower. at a steep angle. Yeah. And then by the time you're done with the pull, it gets to the So you like it that it starts higher? Yeah, it's supposed to start high. It's supposed to parallel, basically. I'm just surprised, like, how good it feels compared to, like, you know, supposedly that other tilt mask. Oh, no, like, there's tons of rows that are like this model. So, yeah. Atlantis is not special in that regard. This will feel awful. <laughs> that feels good to me. I like that you one. You look good. It's a short style one. Okay, so actually this piece, I won't lie, actually feels really good. My um, acrylic is like the best one. Yeah, it's like the best one. 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 It's foot on braces which actually like dude this makes a whole world of difference so I really need to mod mine somehow that's how they do it right there so um let's see this thing I mean it's cool it doesn't add any extra footprint and you get play storage which is nice the precision row um it's decoupled so the pulling arm itself is decoupled from the loaded arm uh, the torque arm I guess you call it so 
I guess that's like better. It doesn't pop off as much if you don't want a row that's too light at the very end. This has a nice grip. I like that a lot. This would be a great mod to make also. So this is basically necessary in my opinion. If you want to go heavy, this is necessary. This is just like a nice quality of light mod. Um, pretty much the same. Otherwise, that's the other hammer style row. Except the hammer row starts way more down and then it peaks. You know, and you're contracted, so that's kind of weird. But otherwise, the hammer row is actually quite good. Just my opinion. Having a lot of rows.